How's it going everyone? It is now the 6th of June and it is a little bit more than a week away from my perform perf performance at Project Legacy 3.0 at Ferdy Dirk Bar in the city here in Melbourne. Um, and I've been progressing well with the, the with the few things I mentioned in the first part of this vlog, you know, the memory, confidence and fitness. Um, and I guess in this little piece, I wanted to talk a little bit more about memory and what I've been doing to improve my memory um, before this gig. And obviously, I've been rehearsing. I've been doing a lot of that to the point where now I'm 100% confident that I've rehearsed enough. I'm still going to rehearse more because you can never have enough, but I'm very confident with how much I've rehearsed. Um, to help more so with memory, it's not that I'm, I'm not like forgetting my lyrics or anything right now as I rehearse in my room, but... Obviously, I know that might potentially change if there's some anxiety involved with me actually being on stage. You know, maybe it will, my brain will draw a blank. So to ensure it doesn't and to, you know, really nail down the memory part, I'm just going to be reading my lyrics with no music or anything. Literally just reading the lyrics to my songs, trying to memorize them without any rhythm or beat in the background, just as plain old words um and i'm hoping yeah that helps and you know another another thing i'm doing to help the memory which is a really really bad sacrifice it's very very terrible um but i've reduced smoking weed a little bit so hopefully that helps my memory as well um and if it doesn't then it totally wasn't worth it but i'm hoping i'm hoping it does thankfully my memory when it comes to like remembering my own lyrics and stuff has always been pretty good um like when i record a song in my room or whatever it's i don't normally have like the lyrics on a phone next to me if that makes sense like i'm just rapping off of what i remember writing to the beat sometimes there's little bits in there that i change you know that i might it might be harder to memorize for when I actually record. So maybe for a bar or two or whatever, I might have the phone up. But usually I prefer to not have any lyrics in front of me when I'm when I'm rapping or recording or doing anything like that. So I'm sure, you know, just being used to recording like that is hopefully gonna 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 tape got stuck. It's hopefully gonna help um when I perform on stage next week on Thursday night. Um but yeah. I'll show you a little bit more of my week as the week goes on, but for now, oh, that's it. Peace. Yo, what's up, everyone? It is now only two days until my first ever performance at Ferdy Derek, and I'm so, so excited. Um, I don't know. I think the nerves have actually completely gone away. I think I was more nervous leading up to this than I am now just two days away from it because I've just rehearsed so much, and I guess... I'm quite comfortable and confident with my set that I've prepared. Now, even though I'm confident in, uh, you know, everything I've done in the last few weeks to prepare for this, I'm now gonna watch some videos on professional vocal warm-up and just like another vocal warm-up video as well as a video on stage presence. Um, and then there's another video just on like general tips and stuff for like performing on stage for your first time. Because I thought, you know, I'm sure there's people that have got a lot of good advice on this on the internet. So I'm just going to watch a bunch of YouTube videos and hopefully, you know, learn a bunch of stuff that I didn't already know. So I'm going to do that. Keep studying. And yeah, whew, two days to go. All right. So it's now one day until I perform. And this is the last little vlog update I'll be doing. This is the last little clip I'll be recording of the part three series. Um, and man, what a journey it's been learning so much in these last few weeks whilst I prepare for this uh, performance. The last little clip that I showed uh, that I was you know, about to watch a bunch of YouTube videos for some tips and all that stuff, I learned way more in those little videos than I thought I would. And now I feel even more prepared for tomorrow. Um, that said, previous video, I said, sorry, not previous video, previous clip, I mentioned that... Um, the nerves had sort of like completely faded away. But now I think now now that it's, you know, just over 24 hours away, they're slowly starting to set in again, which I think is normal. I think if I wasn't nervous or anxious for this performance, I would be fucking insane, you know? Um, it would probably mean that I didn't give a shit about how it went, which I do. So that's why I'm anxious and nervous. But still very excited, very grateful, very, very happy to be doing this. Um, Shout out again to Vibe Union and the boys behind it, Rai and Jason, that throw on these Project Legacy events. 
Um, couldn't be more grateful to be a part of 3.0. Um, and hopefully, you know, there'll be plenty more in the future as well. But that's been, that's, that's basically it. I've been doing a lot of talking in these videos and tomorrow it's going to be time to see if I really did walk the talk or did I just talk the talk and make a bunch of videos for no reason doing this shit but no I'm confident tomorrow's going to be good I'll obviously make a follow-up video showing you know the day of the performance and stuff but that'll be a little bit later on but yeah for now Peace out. Pray for the living, no care for the dead. If my words defend you, I'm in your head. I don't hear you, don't care what you said. I watched you making, I lay in your bed. Laying and watch you stay in it every day, man.